Hello and welcome to Women Nation. Guys, we are so excited today. We have a very, very special episode. We're actually here yes. in Petersburg, Virginia, standing here in front of the Pocahontas Island yes. Museum. Yes, I'm excited to be here. This is the oldest African-American community in the world until somebody come check them. That's what he told me to tell y'all. <laughs> but it is the oldest um, African-American community in the world. We are here today. We're going to give you the long lost history of some of the underground railroad stuff we found here and the history of Pocahontas Island. And it's only an hour and 30 minutes away from us in the top water area. So we hope that this episode will inform you and give you some education on your history, the history of Pocahontas Island right here in Petersburg, Virginia. So I'm Danita Hayes. And I'm Chola Owens. And this is Women Nation. All right, let's get it started. We all need to be encouraged in this world that's in the spin. We all need some positivity. That's why I always tune in to Women Nation. Women Nation. Women Nation. Women Nation. Ooh. Are you paying $1,000 or more for rent? Is your credit score 600? What are you doing? The Hayes Real Estate Team is here to make your dreams of home ownership come true. Hayes Real Estate Team made the process so easy. Yes, we purchased our first home using our VA loan with zero down and cash back at closing. And the Hayes Real Estate Team got my house under contract in less than 30 days. The Hayes Real Estate Team, all we do is make moves for you. The game of Monopoly taught us how to invest in real estate as a child. But unlike Monopoly, real estate investment does not come with instructions. I'm Chola Owens with World Class Realty, and I can help you pass, go, and collect your profit. Call me today. My name is Arlie Hatcher, also known as The Entrepreneur on Instagram. I would love for you all to come out to the Defining Your Vision brunch and book signing for my book, Heart of a Mompreneur. You can get tickets at www.arliehatcher.com. Life is full of firsts, like buying your first home. The Hayes Real Estate Team is here to help, so you can focus on those other, more important firsts. The Hayes Real Estate Team. Posture Distinguished was created by three childhood best friends who are also entrepreneurs. We wanted to get together to use our community involvement to empower women and provide them with the opportunity for women to promote their businesses while we reach out and support each other. Please join us Saturday, September 23rd from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Conference Suites located in Northern Suffolk, Virginia. Tickets will be available at Posh and Polish Nail Lounge or Lavish Hair Lounge. There will be special deals and promotions exclusively at the event, so don't miss out. First time home buyers, it's time. The Hayes Real Estate Team partners with certified credit professionals to make your home ownership dreams come true. To make your move, contact us today. The Hayes Real Estate Team. Women Nation. My name is Richard A. Stewart. The Honorary Mayor of Pocahontas Island, said to be the oldest black community in the USA. I became the honorary mayor because it was a rite of passage. The elder people over here favored me when I was a child, and they said one day when I grew up, they want to make me the honorary mayor of Pocahontas Island. I've lived up to that, to keep the history alive. My family goes back more than 12 or 14 generations into slavery, uh, and we stayed here because of our faith and we believe in God and that's why we believe we stayed here. Pocahontas Island it had been involved in a lot of things. This was the heart of the Underground Railroad. Uh, slaves came through here seeking freedom and they looked at this place that's called the Promised Land. The Promised Land. Also, Pocahontas had been affected by slave revolts. One of the early ones was Gabriel Prasa, a slave in Richmond, Virginia, that thought the their founding father had done black folks wrong but not freeing us. And he was supposed to lead a slave revolt. 
white and black followed him. But he couldn't succeed because there was a great flood in the James River and he couldn't go across. And a black man turned him in and he was hung on the corner Broad Street and 15th Street in Richmond. Ned Turner affected us. Ned Turner and God had told Ned Turner how to lead his folks into the promised land of Jerusalem. But it didn't happen. Some of our folks followed Ned Turner. There was three Negroes that went along with Ned Turner, just like Gabriel Prosser, and the utmost price is hanging them. Ned Turner's father was sold within a quarter of a mile from Pocahontas, because Pocahontas always looked at as the promised land of things to happen. In this area, black and whites lived together, from Ireland, from Germany, and all areas. Jews live here. Whites live here. Frenchmen live open with black women here on this island. Englishmen live open with black women right here on this island. This was part of the promised land. The black and whites lived together. And Jim Crow looked the other way. They thought of this as being a promised land because according to the King James Version of the Bible, and Moses leading his folks to the promised land, there was some place that slave could go and then have to worry about being beat and whipped and so forth and several, and this was the place. One of Ned Turner's soldiers came here and was processed through the Underground Railroad. He saw the promised land. He saw black and white folks living together and he looked at this being the promised land. Thomas Jefferson slave, Isaac Jefferson, he came in 1822. After he had passed through here with Sally Hemming and going down to see Mr. Jefferson in Williamsburg, he came to Pocahontas to the Promised Land. He died in 1853. Uh, I started this museum back in 2003. It only took me six months to put it together. But the concept of the museum is still in effect. I try to add to the concept by telling the story of different artifacts in the museum it looks like it brings out different personalities and people that comes here. So the museum is really from the first room, which is eight rooms of this, I tried to tell the story of our, our folks, how we was involved in slavery. We was free Negroes and, and being involved in, I guess, in history. It was born around 1800. And Charles Stewart was a slave because the law at that time, if you bought a slave woman, the product still belonged to slave master. Well, what had happened, Charles Stewart Sr. bought a woman, and Charles Stewart became, a, well, the living, you know, became, became his uh, son. While his daddy was out fishing one day, the family, the Vaughn family got in need of money and sold Charles Stewart to the Johnson family. Well, right now, I'm still in contact with the Johnson family because Charles Stewart was a very unusual person. He married my great-great-grandmother. She came in from South Carolina, and because she practiced voodoo, he sold her and the two kids to, to back to the slave master. And then he went on to Paris, Kentucky, and became a very famous jockey. And then he later got married again, and she died and wound up in Louisiana. Now, the significant thing about this, within the next month and a half, the slave master of Charles Stewart descendant, we're going to put a historical marker up right here in Pocahontas. I'm still in contact with the descendant of the slave master of Charles Stewart, Richmond, Virginia. Life is full of firsts, like buying your first home. The Hayes Real Estate team is here to help, so you can focus on those other, more important firsts. The Hayes Real Estate team. Posture Distinguished was created by three childhood best friends who are also entrepreneurs. We wanted to get together to use our community involvement to empower women and provide them with the opportunity for women to promote their businesses while we reach out and support each other. Please join us Saturday, September 23rd from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Conference Suites located in Northern Suffolk, Virginia. Tickets will be available at Posh and Potter's Nail Lounge or Lavish Hair Lounge. There will be special deals and promotions exclusively at the event, so don't miss out. 
Are you paying $1,000 or more for rent? Is your credit score 600? What are you doing? The Hayes Real Estate Team is here to make your dreams of home ownership come true. Hayes Real Estate Team made the process so easy. Yes, we purchased our first home using our VA loan with zero down and cash back at closing. And the Hayes Real Estate Team got my house under contract in less than 30 days. The Hayes Real Estate Team, all we do is make moves for you. The game of Monopoly taught us how to invest in real estate as a child. But unlike Monopoly, real estate investment does not come with instructions. I'm Chola Owens with World Class Realty, and I can help you pass, go, and collect your profit. Call me today. My name is Arlie Hatcher, also known as The Entrepreneurs on Instagram. I would love for you all to come out to the Defining Your Vision brunch and book signing for my book, Heart of a Mompreneur. You can get tickets at www.arliehatcher.com. First time home buyers, it's time. The Hayes Real Estate Team partners with certified credit professionals to make your home ownership dreams come true. To make your move, contact us today. The Hayes Real Estate Team. Well, you're, you're now standing in the pathway of the Underground Railroad. Now, what I tried to explain about the Underground Railroad, where did it start? The Underground Railroad followed, if you show me a swamp, i show you the Underground Railroad. From the Everglades to the Dismal Swamp on up. And they came upon Pocahontas. What, what's said at the foot of Pocahontas? We got swamps. And then when it got you in the swamp, we hid them out in the swamps, when it got ready for them to leave, we bought them inland. There's one house that, that we used to hide them in, and this guy is a mulatto, had a white mother that sold him into slavery, and he came back here and participated in the Underground Railroad. The other major house was a white man that lived open with a black woman named Harriet, Harriet Baba, and his name was Carter Edlow. He was out of Prince George. And he lived open, had five kids by her, and he participated in the Underground Railroad. At his death in 1842, he emancipated 61 of his slaves. He participated in the Underground Railroad. So that's what it was like over here. Why? Let us look at the Indians, earlier slaves, they ran away into the swamps. Why it was so significant blacks that came to America the swamps? Because the Belgian Congo of Africa. They learned how to survive in the Belgian Congo, so when they came here, this was nothing. So that's why they followed the swamps, because they were already trained in it, and the swamps directed them towards the east. They believed that going back towards the east, they was going back towards uh, Africa, and they thought they was going back towards what you call that day of resurrection, where Jesus Christ was coming out of the east and carried them to the promised land. I know Isaac Jefferson. Isaac Jefferson was one of Thomas Jefferson's slaves. During the time uh, Mr. Jefferson was the governor at Williamsburg, Isaac Jefferson, Sally Hemming, and Betty Hemming, and all of them used to come through here on the way to Williamsburg, and they saw this place that all these free folks and white folks was all together, so he decided he was going to come back here. In 1822, he came back, he was a very famous jock, uh, blacksmith, and people came from all around. He, he changed his name to Jeffrey before he died, but he died around 1853, and he buried somewhere in this area. Those shackles represent the spirits of yesterday, the spirits of yesterday. When you touch those shackles, you can feel the suffering and the pain of the Appomattox River that said less than 400 feet from here that the slaves went through with a whip. They was drowned in the Appomattox River. On a clear day, they say you once could hear the slaves saying, I want to go to the promised land. They spoke in cold down there that we could hear it up here. When you hear a slave say, one day I'll fly away. Something was getting ready to happen. When you heard a slave sing Amazing Grace, 
Oh Lord, how sweet it is. Something was getting ready to happen. There's another man that was close to the river called the railroad track, the railroad man. They spoke in code. Like they said, one day I'll go away. One day we'll move on to the promised land. Huh. It won't be long. Huh. I'll be gone. Huh. They spoke from the, ra from the railroad track to the river. And when you talk about those slave shackles, it represents the folks that was down on that river that was suffering. They was down there suffering with less than a quarter of a mile when that turn of father was sold. The trade, trading place where they sold slaves. That was the gateway to slavery. You started with the slavery that came into the Appomattox River where them shackles was used. You started in Hampton Road. You came down the York River. You came down the James River into the Appomattox River where those slave shackles were being held. Slave, slave. Many of them people never, never, never left that shoreline down there. They died down there. No slave shackle is cursed slavery of the past. The pink house is called the Walthall House. What happened with that house? This interracial relationship on Pocahontas Island. A white lady had a twin by a black man and the family shunned her out of the family. Got, you know, put out of the family. She sold him to a man named Mr. Hardy, a white man and that he teach them a trade. Mr. Hardy died within one year. So he went to Mr. Trailer, his sister. April the 12th, 1831, the same year in that turn of slavery boat, he was emancipated. He came back in Pocahontas in 1837, 1838, and he built that house. And he got involved in the Underground Railroad. In 1853, the same year that Isaac, Je Isaac Jefferson died, he died a very wealthy man, right on this island, very wealthy. Now, one thing about that, he got married into what's called the Dennis family over here, the Pamunkey Indians. But they have, they, the Pamunkey Indians, they've been back here. They want to trace their ancestry back to Pocahontas Island. We can find it out on the land that the Pamunkey Indian last lived on Pocahontas Island. The game of Monopoly taught us how to invest in real estate as a child. But unlike Monopoly, real estate investment does not come with instructions. I'm Chola Owens with World Class Realty, and I can help you pass, go, and collect your profit. Call me today. Life is full of firsts, like buying your first home. The Hayes Real Estate Team is here to help, so you can focus on those other, more important firsts. The Hayes Real Estate Team. Posture Distinguished was created by three childhood best friends who are also entrepreneurs. We wanted to get together to use our community involvement to empower women and provide them with the opportunity for women to promote their businesses while we reach out and support each other. Please join us Saturday, September 23rd from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Conference Suites located in Northern Suffolk, Virginia. Tickets will be available at Posture and Polish Nail Lounge or Lavish Hair Lounge. There will be special deals and promotions exclusively at the event, so don't miss out. Are you paying $1,000 or more for rent? Is your credit score 600? What are you doing? The Hayes Real Estate Team is here to make your dreams of home ownership come true. Hayes Real Estate Team made the process so easy. Yes, we purchased our first home using our VA loan with zero down and cash back at closing. And the Hayes Real Estate Team got my house under contract in less than 30 days. The Hayes Real Estate Team, all we do is make moves for you. First time home buyers, it's time. The Hayes Real Estate Team partners with certified credit professionals to make your home ownership dreams come true. To make your move, contact us today. The Hayes Real Estate Team. My name is Arlie Hatcher, also known as The Entrepreneur on Instagram. I would love for you all to come out to the Defining Your Vision brunch and book signing for my book, Heart of a Mompreneur. You can get tickets at www.arliehatcher.com.
In 2003, when I retired from the federal government, I had $100,000. And I went crazy. I took the $100,000 and started buying the land. My ancestors were dying and buy the property and work on it. And then I had this dream that I had to put something together to honor my ancestors through this museum. I bought this building right here, this house, and in six months, everything that you see in there I had bought and traded. And also they had gave me things before they died. So I got eight rooms of this, it took me six months. Now. What I do, I take my military retirement and my civil service retirement and I maintain the land, the museum and everything because I take my retirement check and that's how I maintain it. If I would have said why it's so important that people should come here and see Pocahontas, it's not only black history, it's white history also. It's Native American history, it's Jews history, it's foreign history. It's history. It's just like footprints back into time. And what makes this place so significant is in the same format that it was in back during slavery. Like I told you about the Underground Railroad, the path for the Underground Railroad still exists here. Probably still exists here. Another thing, the spirit of yesterday is still here. If you come here on a day or uh, uh, evening, it's just like our ancestors, you can see them and they'll talk to you like the wind is talking to you. It is an awesome place. God is here. Spirits are here. Even though my folks practice voodoo and different religion and all this different type of stuff, the spirit of God is still here. Now, the question the young lady asked me about uh, what should I tell the youth of, of tomorrow? The first thing I would say, dream big and dream often, but dream in reality and don't forget your history. Your history is the most important thing. If you don't know your history, you're bound to repeat it. And the way America is today and what is happening in Charlottesville and other places, we need to come together as a race, regardless of your color of skin. We need to come together as a race. If we did it during slavery, the black and whites lived together, why can't we live together now in peace, regardless of the color of your skin? That is my belief. For example, this weekend, I'm headed to Sussex County, the place Ned Turner was sold in 1822. The majority of the people that at Sussex County is going to be children of former people that Nat Turner killed the family back in 1831. 1831. I'm going to try to establish a race, the race relations by saying a day of atonement. Can't we get along? As the great Martin Luther King said that when Children of former slaves and children of former slave masters can set at that tablehood of love and understanding. We have accomplished something. And that is what I'm going into Southampton area, Sussex, and tell us, can't we live together as people regardless of the color of your skin? We don't have a program. Look at our black churches. Two of the most, one of the most segregated things in America is a black church. Yet we pray to the same God, but we set in a different area. Can't we come together? Petersburg, Virginia, look at our schools that I walked in picket lines and all this different thing back in the 60s. And you look at the, the ratio of white to black kids, we are still segregated in our school system. The thing that I believe that affects everything that has happened it's called post-traumatic stress of slavery. What is post-traumatic stress of slavery? If you study the Emancipation Proclamation that most of us have never studied, you call it General Order Number Three. What did General Order Number Three say? Stay with your slave master and work for wages. Don't idle, use idle time to run behind the military. Now, what did that do? 
after slavery had three categories that affected America. He took the Indian and put him on a reservation and it's still in the reserve. He took the blacks and put them in projects and we're still on the projects. And he took the white man and put him in a trail coat for a white man and we still there. America need to get beyond projects, reservation, and trailer coat. But until we do that, there's always going to be some kind of uh, segregation because you're segregated by generation wealth. Well, I am located on 224 Whitton Street, Petersburg, Virginia. I prefer people to call and make an appointment. My phone number is 804 861-8889. And please bring a donation. I <laughs> prefer $10 donation. Uh, no limit. I, I know, but just the idea, let's keep this dream alive. This is a dream here. Yeah. Let's keep this dream alive. I want this to live on even after I'm gone. That your children and your children's children can come to Pocahontas one day and look at this place and, and somewhat they would say, back in the day, when certain slaves escaped from the Appomattox River and came to Pocahontas, and this is what they said, free at last, free at last, thank God in life, thank God in mighty, I'm free at last. I'm at the promised land at last, free at last. And that's all I'm saying. Come here one day into the promised land of Pocahontas and I echo that thing, free at last. Thank God Almighty. Are you paying $1,000 or more for rent? Is your credit score 600? What are you doing? The Hayes Real Estate Team is here to make your dreams of home ownership come true. Hayes Real Estate Team made the process so easy. Yes, we purchased our first home using our VA loan with zero down and cash back at closing. And the Hayes Real Estate Team got my house under contract in less than 30 days. The Hayes Real Estate Team, all we do is make moves for you. My name is Arlie Hatcher, also known as The Entrepreneur on Instagram. I would love for you all to come out to the Defining Your Vision brunch and book signing for my book, Heart of a Mompreneur. You can get tickets at www.arliehatcher.com. We all need to be encouraged in this world that's in a spin. We all need some positivity.